Good morning, guys. Well, we ended up here on a little bit of Crown land. You can see the RV in the background. And Patrick's just up the road, and then there's another one up the road. But we uh, ended up here last night. This area is known as Whiskey Creek. It's only about 15 minutes away from town. You can see my breath, it's cold this morning. It's only about four degrees out. So there's Precious doing her sniffing. Anyways, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I got the furnace cranked, generator going, and uh, I guess I'm gonna go inside, get myself cleaned up, maybe have a nice hot shower. And then um, I wanna take a little, maybe I'll take the bike out. Mm, maybe, we might go for a bike ride or I might just go for a walk and uh, check out the area a little bit more. So let's get to it. Okay, we're all fresh and clean and uh, now we're heading out for a walk. As you can see, the roads in here are pretty rough. So the RV took quite the beating <laughs> getting in here. There's something you don't often see in Crown Land, a cell phone tower. So I'm in my glory. We're getting full bars. You can see the mountains off in the distance. That one in the background there is totally covered in snow. I can also see somebody's been using these signs for target practice. Almost nothing left of that one. I just stepped in three of those potholes because I'm too busy looking around trying to locate the perfect Christmas tree. <laughs> because it's getting to be that time of year. And I always said I wanted a real tree, so maybe this year I'll actually get one. Okay, so we went for a walk down the road because we were looking for this site, which is a much, much nicer place to park. Like, look at the view of the mountains. Well, there's still quite a bit of big rocks, but I think it's manageable. Beautiful view from here. Yep, much, much nicer. Although I'm starting to see that there is a lot. Holy crap. Well, someone is using it for a dumping ground. There is a gigantic pile over there. Wow. Unbelievable. So don't look down and just look out, I guess. Look at those mountains. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Well, I think I'm going to try and move down the road to that other spot with the view. But uh, first, I have to make a quick run into town because I need some drinking water. But luckily, the GPS shows that the closest store is only four minutes away. So... Oh, I have to go back down this sketchy road. <laughs> Yikes. There goes Patrick. He's going to find somewhere sunny to park for the day to recharge the batteries. As you can see, this road is absolutely terrible. <laughs> so nice and slow. Okay, so the other day I was driving, God, every time I turn everything falls. I was driving and noticed my same rig getting towed by a tow truck and now I just drove past a scrap yard and I'm pretty sure I see it, yep, sitting right there. I'm gonna run in and see if they'll sell me that air conditioning shroud. I wonder, I'm just gonna pull over and park on the side of the road. Okay, let's go see. And there she is in all her glory. So now I just have to find somebody and ask them if they're willing to part with that air conditioning shroud. Well, that was a bust. <laughs> they're shipping them whole. I don't know who's gonna buy it because it was in a car accident and half the other, the side is uh, all ripped off. So 
Uh, all I wanted was that air conditioning cover. I really don't want to have to order one on Amazon. They're $200 for a piece of plastic. Uh. Anyways, back on the road. <laughs> well, guys, whatever was left of the air conditioning shroud just blew off on me <laughs> and scared the crap out of me. Uh, it's super windy here today on the island. We're just across from the Nanaimo Airport. Oh, back on the road now, I guess. Good morning, everybody. It's a cold one. Look, the windows are all, all frosted up. Anyways, Lizzie's RV battery is dead behind us. So, Nana to the rescue. Well guys, I boosted Lizzie. She's gone off to work, but uh, then I went back in the house and uh, fell asleep. So it's just, I don't know, maybe around noon or something. I see Patrick has shown up. I don't think that guy's very happy because I think yeah, the whole street. Oh no, there's a few RV spots up there. So he could fit if he wanted to. Welcome home, Patrick. Did you break your door too? RVs, it's always something. Anyways, I'm just going for a walk over to the drugstore to buy water and maybe a chocolate bar. By the looks of it, Patrick's going to do laundry. Quite a few of us here today. And then this one over here. That one doesn't move though. Apparently the guy that owns it met someone here in town. So he's living with her. Come on, Patrick, you slow poke. Okay. Going to get water take deuce. Because I forgot my dumb mask. Today's day, what is it, Wednesday? So today's day three of mandatory masks in all indoor spaces here in British Columbia. Well, on the island anyways. So I keep forgetting. Every time I walk this way, I'm always intrigued by this tree. It's literally like it almost feels like plastic, but they're definitely real trees. Anyways, away we go. Well guys, we did get our water and uh, now it's getting dark out. So I'm cuddled up with Precious and probably bed very soon. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and um, stay tuned because uh, we're headed into some better weather for the next, I don't know, 10 days or something. Are you getting comfy, Presh? Are you comfy? <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to get 10 days or so of some good weather. And by good weather, I mean very little rain. So uh, I think we're going to head up to maybe Campbell River area or uh, I don't know. I haven't been up that way yet since we've been to the island. So I don't know. I'm thinking I might head up that way. What do you think, Presh? Hmm? She's like, I don't know. Just pet me. What do you think? Hmm? You just want your belly rubbins? You just want your rubbins? <laughs> Her face says it all. You just want your rub-ins? Hmm? <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.
Bye for now.